Hey y'all, it's Dr. Know-It-All. I'm with Greg Piersma with Gentex. And uh, I have to admit my age to start this whole thing because rear view mirrors to me are like pieces of glass with a little metal behind right. them. You twist around and you see stuff behind yep. you. So uh, that's not the way they are anymore. No, though. Gentex yeah. kind of made its name of the automatic dimming rear view mirror. Okay. So it's a mirror that uses sensors to detect the glare from the cars behind you. And then the mirror darkens automatically to eliminate that glare. Very They've cool. been around for years and years. We ship right. about 40 right. million interior and exterior. So those are yours. So probably the one I have in those my are, Mazda. Oh, yeah. Is, yeah Nine yeah, out okay. of 10. <laughs> They're yours. Um, so there you go. But we, we really made our name in putting other features into those mirrors. Okay. So about 50% of what we ship comes with one or more advanced feature displays, microphones, lighting, uh, ADAS alerts, notifications, camera systems, all these things. Excellent. But what wow. we're working on next, and actually we're already shipping this, we have since about 2016, okay. helping the industry go from an analog view to a digital view. Right. So these right. mirrors that you see here are what we call full display mirrors. Okay. So all of these use a rearward facing camera to show the rearward view. Now it still functions as a normal mirror. Right. And you can see Joe there is flipping that one on the end. It's a normal auto dimming mirror. Oh, oh okay. So you could turn it on when you, you want. You can turn and it on and up. Okay. And then as soon as you flip it, you got this bright panoramic display that shows Excellent. up to show you what's behind the car. So for us then, once the mirror becomes a display, now it's a matter right. of what other features could I put in there? Yeah. Because exactly. it acts then as a platform for new innovation. So just some of the things we're showing. Here we're showing a touch screen display. Oh wow, that's crazy. So I can actually adjust the brightness. Right. I can tilt and pan and move the image My around. Goodness. Now you wouldn't do that while you're driving, right, but right. it would allow you to adjust it, personalize sure. it. Right. Um, even do things such as buttons and interfaces for different like home link, wow. open your garage door, things of that nature. Um, we're showing it with using remote cameras around the vehicle. Maybe gotcha. you have one to monitor trailers, monitor inside the trailer to monitor the cargo, gotcha. maybe even one interior of the vehicle to look at a baby cam, that sort of thing. Right. Um, I didn't see that over, over there, so yeah, we can yep, actually talk about exactly. that. Exactly. Right. Okay. And what we're showing here is we're actually inter integrating a dash cam or a digital wow. video recorder. Okay. So there's a forward-facing camera. We, it uses the rearward-facing camera from the, from the full display mirror. Okay. Um, and then it captures those road scenes. So if there's an accident, airbag deployment, the car feels impact, you brake hard, it'll save that, that scene. So that you have the data for that. Exactly. Right, exactly. And we have an app called Review, which allows you to then download those clips, okay. um, organize them, play them back, right. save them. And will that operate like even when you're outside the vehicle? So if yep. something happens, so somebody exactly. broke into your so vehicle. So if something yeah. slams in your vehicle, you get a shock, you can actually, the app can notify you, or yeah, next yeah, versions of the app will yeah. do that. But right. yeah, then you can, it'll capture those images. That's so amazing. So we're shipping that for a couple of Toyota vehicles in Japan. Okay. It'll be coming to North America cool. soon. Wow. So. And regulatory wise, because it operates as a standard mirror also, it's... it's uh, right. It's, yeah, okay. In North America, yeah, they kind of operate like a standard resistant. mirror. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Around the world, in other markets, you can actually eliminate mirrors. Right. But that's very uh, limited scope right now, uh, application. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of things to overcome when you just do cameras right, and displays. Right. Okay. People aren't quite used to that yet, yeah. and it gets very expensive real quick. So, right. um, well, I'll also tell you one well. advantage of it. My wife is much shorter than I am, and I'm always adjusting the yeah. mirror. And just yeah. having it be a video display means yeah. you pretty much don't have to do yeah. that because well, it's just showing. And there are other display. drawbacks. You know, with video yeah. displays two dimensional, right. so it's very hard to judge depth. So when yeah. backing and reversing. Right. It's not quite as easy. Sometimes you just flip it in the manual mode and right. use the standard mirror. Yeah. Um, and it's also for those of us that have bifocals. Yeah. <laughs> you kind of, you know, to You're get that in that the sweet spot. Right. That, right. It turns out that's not as big as an issue. We usually overcome that pretty quickly as a driver. But there are people who get a little motion sickness. So about 10% oh, of people like to just use the standard mirror. Yeah, so, yeah, okay. Yep. But it still has yep. a lot of value and it's very, very bright. I don't yeah. know. Hopefully it'll show up on the camera. Yeah. But they're, oh, they're yeah. super bright displays. Super bright, super clear. And I assume that they kind of auto dim so that they're not blinding you they at do. night. They do. During nighttime, time. there's a sensor. Yeah. It'll yeah. automatically yeah. darken it down. I so mean, that's what you guys do. It's your bread and butter. So yep. yeah, there you go. Yep. So super cool. This is an yep. amazing amount of technology. And the camera itself that this is displaying, is that on the trunk of the car? Is that internal? It's in multiple places depending okay. on okay. Where, where the automaker wants to put it. Right. The ideal location is up high or maybe on the roof sometimes integrated with the GPS antenna. Okay. That's the yeah, ideal yeah. location, because then yeah. as you're going down the road, 
the, the wind kind of whips the moisture, dirt away from the yeah, camera. Okay. Um, but it's often like kind of in the license plate bracket area right, under there, right. kind of where the rear right. camera display yeah. camera is. The problem with that, um, of course, is sometimes it can get junk kind of dust gets and dirty, dirt yeah. and stuff like And ideally that. you're up high to get a really good view right, right. of the horizon. Okay, great. So, wow. So, so yeah. what else you got for us? This is, uh, this is amazing stuff, yeah. really. I mean, well, why don't we cool. make our way around yeah. and we'll keep talking. Um, so obviously, all of our mirrors, like as I mentioned, are automatic dimming. Right. And so we've been in doing uh, dimmable glass for a long time, but now we start to put it in other areas around the car. Okay. So these vehicles you see here all have auto dimming sunroofs. Oh um, wow. Okay. okay. Well, one of the cool things is, and we'll, we'll go around. And just a real quick outtake, sure. like that would be uh, an instance where you'd see exactly. the rear view that mirror. Exactly. That's an your, ideal location. That's for where it, your yes, yeah. your okay. rear uh, gotcha. camera is. Gotcha. Yep. Okay. Yep. So all of these have dimmable sunroofs. But okay. one of the cool things we're also working on is dimmable sun visors. Sun visors? Oh, that's really cool. So if you think about it, when you're you know you're making a commute, yes. let's say your daily commute, you're heading into the sun. Right. You know, you flip that visor down and you have absolutely no visibility forward. Right? Yes. Oh wow, yeah. So this is great. a dimmable sun visor. So okay. you can see we've got a road scene there, bright sunlight, you'd be squinting the whole way right, or you have your visor. Right. So these are dimmable. So this is just cycling dark and clear, but you'll notice it's going to start to darken now. Yeah. And so it's going to eliminate that glare, but still allow you to see right. the forward scene. So now you can see traffic, you can see stop signs, you can see the stop lights. You still have that forward vision, but it's darkening down. Honestly, I have to say that's really exciting for me yeah. because every morning my commute is straight into the sun, yes. you know, and it's just, exactly. it's, because I hate that compromise. It's either I can't see what's going on. Right or I can't see because right. it's like straight in my eyes. Yeah. So. so it's just another yeah. perfect application. Yeah, so we're I mean, using... really, it's really cool because it gets dark, but you can still see, you can certainly exactly. see lights and other cars and things like that. And we'd uh, probably neat. combine that with some sort of sun load sensor. Yeah. So that the yeah. moment you yeah. flipped it down, it was already darkened to the precise level right, necessary right, right, right. to eliminate okay. that glare. But Very cool. Yeah, that's the idea wow. here. And that would keep you from flipping it up and down too because it could automatically you know, get more transparent right. when it didn't need exactly. to. So, exactly. Yeah, exactly. So, all right, very cool. So yeah, so that one of the other areas that we're we're experimenting with is taking some of the same technology that we have right. for automotive and putting that into the aerospace industry. Okay. So okay. our we have dimmable windows already that we ship for Airbus yeah. and Boeing. So you, uh, if you've been in a, uh, like a triple seven X. Those right. windows automatically, right. you can darken those windows Yeah, we down. actually, my wife and I just went on vacation to Hawaii. Yeah. And we, I, that was the first time I'd experienced those. And it was so cool because yeah. it was broad daylight, but they dimmed it down so that everyone would, you know, yep. be restful and get some exactly. sleep while they're flying. And, and it was great. And the pilot, I guess, could control it, but you have a manual yep. override if you want to. Yep. So, yep. really cool. Yeah. Yeah. So, I'll show you just some things here. Okay. In this buck. I'll get the control panel here. Oh, from, oh yeah, we got the control okay. panel, right. So, <laughs> We have different setups here. This is a luck section. Okay. Over here, we kind of have a commercial section. Right. And a right. lavatory. We'll just focus on some of the things here. Sure. Um, but we talked about getting closer, so this hopefully auto exposes properly. But let's see if there we go. Yeah. But you can see when you get in close, it's like showing pictures of cla of the mountains. Right. And, you know, so I'll darken those windows geez. down, so gotcha. they'll start to darken as we go here. Right. Um, but this whole panel here is 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 a kind of a dust cover, utilizing right. a technology called aircraft glass. It's a company we bought out of Belgium a while back, okay. but it provides a very it's glass um, uh, structured glass, so it's very um, durable. It can be used for aircraft purposes. Okay. Um, we can use that in laminates too, even right. laminating wood. We use those dust covers and then smart glass oh, smart wow. mirrors. Um, you can see. Yeah, and this is very nice. I mean, yeah. I don't get to fly first class usually, but this would be great. It's like a whole work desk yeah. and. Yeah, exactly. Fantastic. Yeah. The other thing we've been working on is we've done um, using cameras to control lighting for a long time. So right. Gentex actually invented something called Smart Beam, which used cameras on vehicles to actually control your high beams, to manipulate light. Right. So we're using machine vision here to create a smart lighting system. So imagine getting into your first class pod here right. and now having the lighting optimized for whatever your task is. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put it into the smart lighting mode. Right. And so you'll notice it provides a nice soft glow for working, doing whatever. Right. But the moment I open up a book, oh, for instance, oh, and it knows that because it knows it's been, I've yeah. got a book, oh. and now it tracks that even. Gosh, so as I move that. around, it always provides the optimal right. light. We right. can do the same thing in the commercial section, but now it's going to flood that light for me and not bother the passenger. Yeah, and that's actually a really nice, especially when you're flying at night yeah. or something. You don't want to bother everybody right. else around you. So, and, wow. the other, and the other thing it can do, 
We can even change the color temperature okay. to, if possible, <laughs> make airline food look better. Right. So I can't you, do anything oh, about look this. Look at that. So you got this like you warm notice, color. It turns yeah. to a nice amber, a little warmer right. cover <laughs> to make that food look a little more appealing. But again, That's all amazing. done automatically. Wow. So it could maybe when you're working, like if I, there's a laptop mode, or right. if I start to work on my laptop, it'll just flood the entire area with a nice cool glow. Right. Just to optimize it. Right. So you can see the keyboard easily, all of that kind exactly. of stuff. Exactly. So. Right. Oh, it's just amazing. Yeah. Wow. And so are you thinking like, is this, so this is a, this is your glass on the interior and your lighting setup, right? Yes. And then exactly. is the idea that this would actually be a real window or would that yep. be like a video? Window nope. Those would be real windows. Okay. Okay. We've experimented with that. There are some people where you can even see what's beyond, underneath the airplane and right. projecting right. that in places. But I actually, yeah, these, yeah, that's the thing is I often like, like to look at like the pilot's view if they have that available. Right. So exactly. That kind of a thing. But I, I thought about like, especially when you get to uh, like hypersonic flights eventually, things like that, that, yep. you know, having windows is a structural issue. And so having HD screens as opposed to that, so that it looked like you had a window would be an yep. ideal solution. So you've already yep. got, you basically already got this yeah. working for you, so. The other yeah. thing we're showing here is okay. kind of these oh, yeah, dividers, me, these move partitions, move so. Cool. so that's darkening yeah. down, but I can also adjust the color. <laughs> so if I wanted to have a different color scheme while I'm in right. there, I could control right. all that. And then it's here's the dark mode, so it's darkening down. So maybe this separates first class from coach, from right, right, business right. class, whatever. And then the, the crew could darken that down as necessary and clear. Yeah, so, that's fantastic. So, and yeah. again, you can do this all automatically or manually override exactly. as the passenger. Exactly. So. So that is amazing. Yeah. I, I really love these swivel seats too, by the way. I know that's <laughs> yeah. not your thing, well, but that's very that's cool. Well, that's not us. But, <laughs> but anyway, but yeah. But yeah, so this is, this is. I really love these HD screens. I love the lighting. Yep. That's something I've noticed about planes in general recently is they've they've been really working on trying to get this lighting to get people to have a, a mood. Right. I think they call them scenes or something like yep. that. You have the takeoff scene yep. and the flying well, scene. Well, behind so. us here, I can show you. Right. You'll see how all these windows are blue here. Right. So we've been, we kind of call this our black hole eliminator. <laughs> so the, some of the airlines to create that aesthetic, right. when, you, when our windows are darkened, you have these dark holes all the way along the aircraft. Right, and, inside, right. Right? and maybe they're trying to create this nice color scheme like you, like you mentioned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have a way, these mirrors are actually darkened, but we're illuminating this cover screen okay. just to give it that so they nice have a little bit glow. of glow so that yeah exactly. they don't look like these pitch black holes exactly really, yeah okay. so that's just a way of overcoming and, cool. and adding to that ambiance that you were talking right. about and i love so. this little screen behind you too that's got yep. the you know you've got this is like what i was saying like you get, you get all your metrics that you need yep. plus your screen yep so. and again yeah. chris may have hand me that tilt back <laughs> <laughs> yep, yeah you can see it disappears completely oh cool okay and some of the Gentex optics and some of the stack coding right. stacks that we create to help make it disappear gotcha. and then it can come exactly back on if i could find it and i would assume you could put movies on things like that if you exactly. want entertainment flight so, yeah. information things yeah. of that nature oh, i guess the last thing i'll show you here okay we're down in the, the, <laughs> to the inevitable place that you have to go in the, uh, yeah. the airplane so <laughs> so what we're showing here is this is a smart mirror smart class right. maybe we're showing alerts and, and notifications <laughs> you can see there right. you know expecting oh, turbulence cool. announcement kind of comes up but this sensor here is something Gentex really got its start back in the 70s, okay. um, and we still have a fire protection division. Okay. So we've always been in the sensing industry. Right. Um, and that, in the case of smoke, we're detecting particles. Okay. And so we have a whole smoke detection division. We actually ship smoke detectors for vehicles. There's a robo taxi right. operator called Zooks. We ship a smoke detector sure, that's sure. in the HVAC okay. system, can detect if the passenger's smoking or vaping. <laughs> but a while back, about two years ago, we purchased a company called VaporSense, which is a nanofiber technology way of detecting chemicals. Okay. So nanofibers are uh, about a thousand times thinner than a, a, a strand of human hair, kind of woven together in a little bit of a matrix. And when a chemical embeds itself in that matrix, it changes the electrical resistance, and that signature it creates helps us determine what that chemical is. Oh, so, so you can, not just that there is something, but you can start to figure out right, what it is. Right, you can start to look at uh, okay. you know, whether it's an incendiary device, a VOC, right. oh, gosh. Um, okay. whether it's some, some illicit drug or something like that. Yeah. We can start to sniff those out. Okay. So it's something we've proven in the lab. We're now working on ways to bring that into the marketplace with a make it as a part by the thousands repeatable processes yeah exactly. that's the point we're at now but, wow that but would be amazing because that's like a built-in extra security layer exactly got, so, yeah. exactly yeah. and then be able to keep that whether it's a robo taxi or an aircraft keep it clean keep the the um the air quality fresh right so, that's wow, that's so amazing. yeah 
you guys are, <laughs> it's amazing stuff. And it's also, Thank that you. was, I didn't realize that you all had done, what'd you say, 40 million of those uh, auto dinner Yeah, that's where, so, that's where, yeah, yes, that's bread and butter. That's the mainstay, yeah, 40 <laughs> yeah. million. That's, that's yeah. a few of those. So. Yeah. So, wow, I really appreciate your spending the time certainly. with us today. And I, it's, this is, it's always amazing to come to CES yeah. and learn about all these new things. Yeah. So, thank you so much, Craig. Certainly. And again, it's Gentex if people are interested. And uh, yeah, meantime, have a wonderful rest of CES. All right, great, thank you.